The Intelligent Microbiotics Lab at the Chinese University of Hong Kong, Shenzhen, is dedicated to advancing microbiotic systems through innovative design, functional materials, and autonomous control. Our core mission is to develop micro-robots and miniature soft devices for biomedical applications, such as target delivery and minimally invasive surgery. IML emphasizes fundamental science and technology developments in microbiotics, while the Center of Micro Nanorobotics at AIRS concentrates on applying these advancements to real-world scenarios. The Center of Micro Nanorobotics is a leading center in AIRS working on developing advanced micro nanorobots to provide new insights for biomedicine. The center focuses on advancing AI and robotics technology and providing a unique platform for technology translation. Our research is centered around three core areas. We focus on developing nanorobots in swarms, which are designed for high environmental adaptability and multifunctions. The microrobotic swarms can be applied to biomedicine by encapsulating drugs in swarm agents and developing efficient actuation methods. I am working on delivering drugs to target sites in the respiratory system. We are developing innovative embolic agents based on stimuli-responsive materials that could be navigated by magnetic field. By adjusting the pitch angle and the direction angle of the applied magnetic fields, the moving direction and the speed of the swarm can be controlled independently. The swarms are capable of performing adaptive locomotion in environments with complex geometries and the physiological conditions, such as bell fluid and non-zero flow. In living bodies, the lung expands and contracts, and the gastrointestinal tract undergoes peristalsis. Dynamic obstacle avoidance algorithms enable the swarms to adapt to the dynamic in vivo environments. We develop a radar-based control strategy for the swarm to avoid dynamic obstacles in real time. The control strategy combines radar-based avoidance algorithm, global path planning, and image processing unit. We also propose a criterion to evaluate the real-time efficiency of dynamic obstacle avoidance. The innovative control scheme enables the swarm to avoid dynamic obstacles in complex environments effectively. We create biomimetic miniature robots and biocompatible soft devices for early stage cancer diagnostics. I'm working on developing magnetic miniature soft devices for biomedical applications focusing on structure design and materials design to enable various functionalities. The jumping robot is inspired by water striders. Controlled by a programmed external magnet field, the robot can perform jumping motions with precisely controlled trajectories and poses. This robot's ability to move on both fluids and solid surfaces makes it suitable for moving in the gastrointestinal system's complex environment. By integrating functional modules, like a needle or soft electrical circuits, it can perform tasks such as targeted injection and real-time sensing. We are developing tiny soft robots for early-stage cancer diagnostics. The robot with antibodies modified on its surface targets high-throughput circulating tumor cells collection in bloodstream. We have now just completed the trials on tumor-bearing animals and are actively connecting with hospitals for pushing the boundary of this technique. We are also working on building advanced magnetic actuation systems with high precision and large workspaces. We are dedicated to developing a dual robot arm magnetic actuation system integrated with medical imaging devices to remotely actuate micro robots within a large web space. This system allows for synchronous local control through the coordination of the dual robot arm to achieve the desired magnetic field at the desired place. The enables system level automation across the combination of robotic arms, magnetic coils, and imaging devices. As the immediate next step, miniaturizing the magnetic actuation system allows enhanced operation flexibility. To integrate more sensors onto the system can provide additional information to achieve system-level intelligence, linking micro-robots, actuation, and image system and surgeons. When I started some simple research in my college life, 
I found micro-robots in human body for this treatment fascinating and promising. I am also fascinated by the research directions and open atmosphere of INL. I am assisting my team members with numerical simulations for various projects, learning to operate experimental devices and leading my own research projects. We firmly believe that the incorporation of micro-nanorobotics into healthcare will revolutionize the field. We actively collaborate with medical experts, hospitals, and industry partners to identify the most promising clinical applications for our micro-nanorobotics systems. By bridging robotics, nanotechnology, and biomedicine, IML is to overcome current limitations and translate these innovations into real applications. We hope to transform medical practices and to improve patient care and treatment outcomes.